<laughs> All right, guys. Lesson one, lesson two. The main thing that we were working on was measuring height and co-height, yeah? We had the Ferris wheel. We're spinning it around counterclockwise. And so then we flapped it on, or slapped it. I don't know how you want to say it. Slapped it onto an X and a Y axis. We took, uh, we took our Ferris wheel, and we talked about rotating it and measuring it. Now, we start right here. That's the, that's the starting point. And so on our Ferris wheel, we start rotating it. And then we would rotate it, like, let's say to right here. And then you guys would measure this. What was that? What is that called? That is called the height. All right? The height is what goes from the x-axis to the point, or wherever the, the cart is, the, the passenger car, the Ferris wheel. Uh, now, when the height finally dips below the x-axis, uh, what is your height going to measure? Negative. Negative. Now, the big thing here is to understand where the maximum height is and where the minimum height is, which is pretty obvious, I think, to you. And the reason why you want that is because you're asked to graph um, you're asked to graph the height. Okay, so uh, let's, let's start. Um, if we started right here from the beginning, what is the height measure here? Okay, it's, it doesn't go anywhere, right? It's at, it's at a height of zero. At zero degrees, we're at zero. Now, where is the maximum height? It's at the top, right here, right? And so what is that angle measure? 90. That's 90. So if I go over here to 90... We should be at the max. Now, we don't know exactly for our, our, my example right here. We don't know what the max is because we don't know what the, radius. what the radius is. We don't know what the radius is. In our unit circle, what is the radius? One. One. And then for every other problem, it just depends. Uh, the, the Ferris wheel could have a 75-foot radius. It could have a 100-foot radius, right? And then we'd be able to figure out the maximum. After the max... We hit another angle that's really important. It's pretty significant. Where do we get to a height of zero again? 180. 180. So when we get all the way to this point right here, we're now the cart is now at a height of zero again because it's right on the x-axis. And so my next important point, this is called a quadrantal angle, 80 degrees is back at zero, 180 degrees. Okay, um, now the next point that we find that is really important, it's pretty significant, is the minimum point. At what degrees is the minimum point? 270. So this right here is at 270. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to write down 270. And this time, we're going to put it down here at the minimum value. So, um, boom, there it is. And then finally, we finish up the ride, and we're back at where we started. What, what uh, degrees is that? 360. Now, 360 should equal the same thing as zero, because those are co-terminal angles. What is it? Zero. zero, a height of zero. So now you can uh, draw a rough sketch of your height. That's the height function. That's it. Now, what was the other one that we measured? Co-height. Co okay, so let's do that one. Uh, so for co-height. Um, now, co-height was slightly different. How is co-height different? Uh, yeah, yeah, you start at, um, oh, for the graphing part, yeah, you're right, you start at the max. But when we measure co-height, we're not measuring the same anymore. Let's go to that other dot that we had. We had a dot right there. Or, no, stop that. We had a dot right there, and uh, we measured um, the height like this, right? But that's not how you measure co-height. How do you measure co-height? You go out this way, okay? So that's co-height. Co-height is not vertical. It is horizontal. So, again, let's talk about max and min. Where is the maximum co When I say where, I mean degrees. What degrees do we have the maximum co-height? Zero. Zero degrees, we're going to have the maximum co-height. And? 180. 180, we're going to have the minimum co-height. Because that would be a negative of this, right? So this right here would be the longest measure, longest co-height measure. And this would also be like the same length, but... Um, whoops, that would be the same length, but instead of positive, it would be negative, okay? All right, so let's, uh, let's graph it. I'll keep talking about it as I go. Um, so, uh, when we first start at zero degrees, what is our co-height? It's the max. Good, I'm glad you said max. So our max is right there, okay? Then we get to our next angle, our next quadrantal angle, which he's pretty important, 90 degrees. What is our co-height there? Zero. That is zero, 
Okay, our next quadrantal angle, we have 180 degrees. And now we're at the minimum. Good job. Minimum. Now, when I get to minimum, whoops. Oh, it's a random line. Okay, so this is where we have another co-height. And that's the minimum because it's, it's, the, it's still the farthest distance, but now it's a negative distance because we're on the negative side of the x-axis. These are negative x's, and over here we have the positive x's. All right, and we look at x's for the co-heights. Um, then um, I put the dot right there at the minimum, and then we, we get at 270, and what's the co-height there? We're right here. And because we can't measure out left or right, we know that it's zero, and so we put a dot right there. And finally, we finish up at 360. We did one complete revolution. And at 360, we're back at this point right here, which is our max. max. So I'm going to put a dot right there. And now to connect everything. When you connect everything, make sure you make it all curvy. Um, it has to be curvy because think about the ride. When you're on this ride, it's pretty smooth, right? You're just going around in a circle. It's a really smooth ride. It's not all jiggy-jaggy, you know? It's like, wah, 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 you know, it's very smooth. It changes smoothly. So there you have your height function, and this is your co-height function. That's how you measure them. Uh, height is vertical. Co-height is horizontal. And now... You guys will be connecting height to sine and co-height to cosine. cosine. Oh, I forgot the T. Co-high. All right, that's it.